We all here at Rafa's garage. Tsunami took a shit. And I'm here at my parents' house. I'll show you what happened. I tried to start it up. It wouldn't start up. Pop the hood. And guess what I found? Ooh, the starter came off. I really checked it and the housing broke. You'll see it once I take it off. Right now I gotta run to AutoZone. I'm at my parents' house. So I gotta take this Celica, my mom's Celica, stock Celica, go to AutoZone. Might have to go all the way to Fresno because they don't have it here in Fireball. So let's go to AutoZone real quick. It was so weird driving a stock car and to top it all off, an automatic. It's my mom's car or my dad's. Tsunami broke down. Tsunami already. So we made it to AutoZone already. I already bought it. Had to pick it up in Fresno. And then this is a new starter like 150 bucks on my old housing this is where it broke off so this is what broke off and that's what came off so hopefully the bolts are still there um it is 150 with the 40 dollar core which i am going to return it i want those 40 bucks back so to do this job disconnect the battery which i already did um for me i gotta remove this since it's in a way the ddpr is in here um but if you have a stock intake manifold you don't need to do it i was on my old celica on my celica i'm able to take it off without taking the intake manifold it's just two bolts and you'll see with this one you're going to be able to see it a lot better since the manifold extends a little bit more and it's going to give me more room as soon as i take off this which is fairly easy just a 10 here and the hose is right there I already started a little bit so i'm gonna do that then i'm gonna take out the bolts and then the starter should have one plug and one bolt for the power so that's what i'm gonna do right now so i took off the reservoir already uh you could see it right there that that's where it broke off you see the housing right there that's where it broke off um so i think i am gonna need the bolt this one came off um, so I am going to need a bolt here and then the only one that's holding it, which is the bottom one, but that one's already off. Well, that's where the housing is broken. So I'm going to take it off. Um, and like I said, you do have this wire harness that goes there and then it has a bolt and a plug. So I'm going to remove that right now. There, I was able to take it out see it has a size 12 this is a size 12 and this is the plug that i was telling you about and then this is where it broke off and it seems like i don't know you know it's everything there so that's the piece that broke off the housing i got scared for a little bit because i thought some of these little pieces went inside the transmission housing but I guess not so and then these bolt right here it's a size 14 same with the other one that's supposed to be down here so hopefully i could go pick up another one of these things should be the same size i'm gonna try it on right now and then go to the hardware store and go get one so that's the old one that's a new one i just put them side by side to compare them um this one had the breather this little plug here which i'm just gonna put it over here and that's it My original didn't have this one but it'll work time to put it on or actually go to the hardware store and go find another boat and then put it on so i gotta borrow my mom's car again we're out here at this farm supply. Hopefully they have it. That's what my dad says. So I even came to AutoZone. They don't have it. The other hardware store, they didn't have it. They didn't have the right thread. So I might have to go to Home Depot, which is like 30 minutes away 
to go get this boat. So I think I'm able to make it work. My little brother has some spare screws and this one is just slightly shorter, but it will do for now. Thank you a lot, little brother and his little MR2. Those are all the bolts from, um, extra bolts from cars he put it out. So thank you. I'll just put this screw for now and then just to get home. And then when I get home, I'll put the right size. Hopefully it grabs on. I'm pretty sure it will. Let's try it out. So everything's wired up. The bolt was actually long enough. It was actually, um, the ones that were there were a little bit longer than whatever it's supposed to be. So that one worked out fine. Everything's plugged in. I just got to add some water or some cooling right here and connect the battery and give it a start. Hopefully it starts up. That's what I'm going to do right now. So moment of truth. Let's see if it starts up. There it is. Good job. Right now I'm just making sure it doesn't overheat, the fans are working, and then go return this core to AutoZone real quick. And right now it's at normal temperature, so we're good. I'm gonna go for a test run when I take the starter back. Hopefully it doesn't overheat. I got some cooling in the back, so I'm gonna do that right now.